Hey guys, it's Janiksa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Morgan Taylor Winter 2022 collection. It's called I Want to Dance with Somebody and it is inspired by the new Whitney Houston movie that's coming out at some point. I'm not sure when the movie's coming out. But we have six beautiful polishes to look at. So let's just jump right into the swatches. Okay, first up we've got Signature Sound. And this one is described as a soft beige cream. This one has a really nice formula. It is not quite a one coater, but I will say that it is a really even polish. I had very minimal streaks here, so I think that the Morgan Taylor brush really helps that out. It was a really great polish to use. Normally these lighter colors are a bit of a pain to use, but not this one. This one was completely opaque in two coats and like I said, very minimal streaks. Unless you have ridges on your nails like I do on my pinky finger, then you will definitely see the streaks more. But that's not the polish's fault. That's just my nails and how they naturally grow. <laughs> um, so these polishes are, again, inspired by the Whitney Houston movie that's coming out. I have a date now. It is December 23rd of 2022. So right before Christmas Eve and Christmas. Next up, we've got Certified Platinum, and this is described as a platinum shimmer. Uh, so this one, it's a little bit odd to me because I feel like even though I did two coats and it covered completely, I felt like the color was just like so soft in a way. It, I don't know. It just looked odd to me, but I did like this. I don't think I have a uh, metallic slash shimmer this color, so I did enjoy this one quite a bit. Uh, I'm looking at all the names of these polishes, and honestly, they're a bit generic. I feel like Record Breaker, Blazing Up the Charts, Belted Out, Signature Sound, Certified Platinum, and Command the Stage could be applied to a number of singers out there. So I feel like they could have personalized the names of these polishes a little bit more to where when I heard the name, I immediately thought, yep, that's Whitney Houston. So I feel like with the names, they kind of missed the mark a little bit. Next up, we've got Record Breaker, and this is a black polish with silver glitter. I really enjoyed this one. This is absolutely stunning. This is definitely a one coater, completely opaque in just one coat. I always do two coats though, and I feel like with this one, you want to do two coats because I feel like it just gives it more depth. Uh, you definitely get more glitter. It's just there's just more to it. So I definitely recommend two coats. However, if you don't want to do two coats, you don't have to because it covers completely in just one. It has a really, really great formula. Very easy to use. No issues here whatsoever. And it kind of dries a little bit textured. So you're definitely going to want a top coat and this has glitter in it. So that's why it's going to dry textured and it might be a little difficult to remove because again glitter is a pain we all know how much of a pain it is but it's just so beautiful that we can't help but use it all the time so this one is definitely gorgeous i cannot wait to wear this one Next up, we have Command the Stage, and this one is described as an antique bronze shimmer. Uh, I don't know which video is going to go up first, whether this one or my SE video, but I did mention in the SE video that uh, both or all three companies, OPI, Morgan Taylor, and SE, all have a polish that's very similar like this in their collections. I think this one and the SE are probably the most similar. Um, it must be the color of the year. I don't know. So we'll see what Orly and Zoya come out with. Wouldn't it be funny if all the main brands, oh, and China Glaze too, uh, came out with a polish that's like this? That would be really cool <laughs> just to compare all of them to. Uh, all right, let's root for that so that I could do a comparison video for all of them. <laughs> I love this one. This one is so beautiful, so sparkly. Uh, it's just a gorgeous polish.
Next up, we have Belted Out, and this one is described as a violet holographic glitter. This one is really gorgeous. I would say it has like a jelly-like finish. It's definitely not a cream. Definitely feels more on the jelly side. It's so beautiful. Not a one-coater, definitely. You most definitely need at least two coats to reach full opacity. You see what I mean, you guys, about the names of these polishes now that we've seen a few of them? What about them really connects you specifically to Whitney Houston? I feel like, yes, do they describe her? They do, but they also describe a ton of other artists. So I really would have wished that they had maybe named some polishes after her songs or just, you know, some personal things about her life. And they got to see the movie, uh, uh, you know, be uh, beforehand, obviously, to get inspiration for creating these polishes. So I just wish they would have used um, some names that weren't as generic as these are. Next up, we have Blazing Up the Charts, and this one is described as a hot red cream. This one, one coater. I mean, we already know when we see a red in a collection, that better be a one coater. If it's not a one coater, mm, I am side eyeing the brand. <laughs> Reds have been around for so, so long that every brand should have that formula down packed. Uh, this one is a great formula, no issues whatsoever, buttery smooth, completely opaque in one coat. But of course, like always, I'm going to show you what two coats looks like. It's just a beautiful polish. There's no denying that. Uh, I really like this one for pedicures. I feel like red on the toes looks really, really nice. And since I don't usually wear red on my nails that much, I feel like it's just perfect to use them up for pedicures so that they don't feel left out. <laughs> All right, here we have the entire I Want to Dance with Somebody Winter 2022 collection. There you have it, guys. Swatches of the Morgan Taylor Winter 2022 collection. I want to dance with somebody. I love these. These are so, so beautiful. The black, the purple. Ah, I, I love them. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I just really, really enjoyed this collection. And um, I don't know, are you guys the kind of people who like to watch movies uh, that are based on, you know, celebrities' real lives? Are, are they called biopics? I don't know. <laughs> I love movies like that. Like, one of my favorites is Ray. That movie is just so well done. Um, so I'm excited to see if this new Whitney Houston movie is any good. I haven't, I don't know too much about her. I mean, I know Whitney Houston, but, and some of her songs, but I don't know a lot about her life. So I think it would be interesting to watch. So hopefully it's a good movie because these polishes were really, really good. Hopefully I can pick up on what inspired them exactly over at Morgan Taylor to create these polishes. Honestly, it's a great collection from Morgan Taylor. I really appreciate that they didn't give us all creams once again, because they didn't do that for the fall collection either. Uh, so these are very beautiful polishes. I'm excited about them, and I think you guys will really love them too. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.